Good morning, everybody. It is 11 o'clock, or just past 11 o'clock. It is lovely to see you today. We are getting towards Christmas, as you can see. Got the old Santa hat on today, and I'll definitely be wearing it next week for the last um, digitally active that we're going to do. So today, and then next week, and then we're off for... Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. So there it is. I was we, will a look be, we will be putting... On the two weeks that we're not alive, yes. we will be playing an episode of Digitally Active every weekday morning. It's like Monday to Friday. So we'll have, there'll be 10 episodes played over the Christmas period, so you'll be able to catch up, see who's up on the charts. Brilliant. Going. So, yeah, they won't be live sessions, but it will be great because you'll still be able to do it on the Monday at 11 o'clock. So 11 o'clock, the big hand is on the 11, and the little hand is on the 12. So it is 11 o'clock as we speak. We may be having some maths later on as well. I'm looking forward to yeah. doing the maths. It's the maths game today. Excellent stuff. So we've got the games to do. So you wouldn't have thought that, would you? Doing the exercise session, we're doing maths as well. Anyway, the first thing we need to remember, and it's lovely to see you all, by the way. It's lovely to see you all. And I'm getting in the Christmas spirit. I got my tree up at the weekend, and I've, it's the first time that I've been Christmassy way before Christmas. Normally, it's like one day before I feel a bit Christmassy, but at the moment, I'm feeling quite Christmassy. I'm not quite sure why that is. It's 13 you, days till Christmas. Are you feeling Christ, Christmassy, Mark? Oh, all the time. Oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> from brilliant. The, from the 1st of January to... <laughs> <December>. <laughs> brilliant. Okay, so the first thing we need to remember is to have your water. If you've got your water ready, that is fantastic. Remember, it's fantastic to have water before you start your exercises. It makes sure your body cools down properly. Make sure you sweat. Make sure you're operating properly while you're doing your exercises. It's just a good thing to have. Mm. So I've had my water now. So um, what else can I tell you? So the first thing I need to tell you, really, really, and it's lovely to have Mark on board, is yep. um, that... We need some space. We need some space around mm. where we are. If you don't have any space, it's very difficult to do exercises. So if you can move one step to the left and one step to the right, you've probably got enough space there. And if you can raise your hands and you're not touching anything, then you've got enough space. If there is anything out the way, like you've got some trailing leads or you've got a, a rug, maybe just roll it up, push it out the way. If you've got a chair or something in the way, just push it out the way. For the time you're doing your exercises, you can move it back later. Great. Excellent. Good advice. So that is good advice. The other thing is, you've got to remember, is if you're not feeling well, just don't do the exercises. If you're feeling unwell, just don't do it. Um, go and see your doctor if you're feeling really unwell and they can tell you when a good time to come back is. Um, we can always watch these videos. You don't have to watch them live. You can watch them um, anytime you like. Just come in onto the Heathlands at Home web um, Facebook page and you can just press play at any given time. I was looking at some yesterday and uh, yeah, it's easy to easy to just scroll down and go and just press play. So you yeah, so there's a playlist so you can. You could leave the playlist on and it could watch it for a full day if you wanted to. Fantastic, fantastic. So we're under sea today. We're under the sea. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this. So the only, adventure. Only thing I've just got to remind you is I've got my I've got my Santa hat on today, but you don't have to have your Santa hat. But I've just got my jumper because it's quite cold today. Um, uh, you can if you just if you've got a hot house, you could just wear your t-shirt. I've got my tracksuit bombs and I've got my nice comfy trainers on. Remember, you're doing this at your own risk. So if there's anything you don't want to do, just don't do it. If you want to use your arms and not your legs, that's fine. Or your legs and not your arm, that's also fine. Right, enough of me chatting. Let's get started, shall we, Mark? Right, well, I will see you in a bit. and I'll put you up to the warm-up section. So Thank you very much. Enjoy yourself. See you Thank soon. Thank you. So it's great to see. Oh, look, we've got some jellyfish there. We've got some jellyfish. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll maybe do some jellyfish stuff. So just going to do a gentle... Jellyfish. Now we're wiggling the fingers and just waggling from side to side, waving from side to side, moving those arms from side to side. Excellent, good stuff. Nice. Okay, so I'm just going to look around. So I'm going to just use the neck. I'm going to look around. Oh, I can see some killer whales circling. I can see some mermaids. I can see some jellyfish. 
starfish on the floor. We're going to look up. Look up to the surface. Look up to the surface. Watch those bubbles rising. And looking down, starfish and we've got the seaweed on the, on the floor. Excellent stuff. Okay, so just going to rotate those hips a little bit. Rotate those hips round. Nice. It's great. Wow. So we got there. Look at all, look into the distance. I like this kind of view, the kind of underwater view where you've got all the lights shining down and you've got uh, you can't see everything in the distance, it's like mist under the sea. Lovely. And we're gonna go round the other way, just moving those hips round and round. Excellent stuff. Okay then, so we're gonna shake those hands, shake those hands, well done. And we're gonna do some breaststroke first of all. Okay, so breaststroke. So we're going breaststroke. So breaststroke. So that means coming into the middle with your hands and round. Lovely. Good stuff. Well done. Just gonna do a couple of these. Okay. And we're just gonna rotate those shoulders. So we're gonna go up to the back and down. Up to the back and down. Because this is a really good exercise to warm up. Look at those killer whales circling round. They're supposed to be one of the most intelligent beasts in the sea. They, can, they certainly have a lot of playing time with seals and they've got various ways of um, like uh, getting their prey. Uh, they kind of create waves, they create bubbles. They do like uh, multiple attacks. Really quite amazing creatures. Okay, anyway, let's talk about exercise rather than the creatures. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some uh, seahorses. So we're gonna put a hand up on, over, and we're gonna stretch across. So I'm gonna count to three. One, two, three. So the key feature is keeping nice and still while you're over there. One, two, three, good. And we're gonna do another set of those. Doing some seahorses, bendy seahorses. One, two, three. And the last one of those. Excellent. One, two, three. Excellent. Right, let's get those legs moving. Okay, so we're walking on the seabed at the moment. Walking on the seabed. Lovely. In the sand. In the sand. Well done. And it's uh, Nice and sandy, I suppose, at the moment. It's a good place to be. You don't want to be in with the kelp where it's all slippy. Better to be on the sand, under the sea. Okay, so what we can do is I can lift your leg. So we're lifting the leg because we're going to jump over or just walk over some air uh, boulders underneath the ocean or some areas where it's difficult to walk. We've got our hands. Uh, hip height and we're putting our knees up to our hands which is perfect well done excellent and give yourself a shake give yourself a shake well done okay so we're going to go to the side and we're going to go to the side so we're going to be the crab you can do some pintery crabs if you like okay side to side with the uh just go side to side fantastic excellent stuff being the crab, well done. Excellent stuff. Here we go. Well done. Side to side. That's good. Well done. You're doing really well, guys. We're on eight minutes 40. We're just warming up at the moment. Fantastic. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do another stroke, another swimming stroke. Excellent, music change, lovely. Okay, so we're going to go over, doing some crawl. Excellent. Yep. Going over the head. So one arm at a time, going over. Lovely. So that was the crawl. And we can change it into the backstroke, going backwards. Well done. Nice. Ooh. Doing well, look at those mermaids. Going extra quick. Okay, we'll just do some marching, well done. Doing well guys, we're warming up. This is just the warm ups remember. Excellent stuff. Okay then, so I'm gonna check, check, 
my underwater suits, underwater suits. So I've got the bowl on my head, or oh, I've got my just my water, my oxygen mask, and my mask over the top there. Yes, I've got that. Yes, I've got my swimsuit on. I've got my wetsuits there. Yeah, I've got my wetsuit pants down on my knees. And I've got my heavy boots, heavy boots for underwater diving. Or should I say, flippers. Okay. Yes, I'll go for the head. The wetsuit shoulders, the wetsuit knees, and the flippers. Excellent. Same again. Nice. Well done. Excellent stuff. Okay. What we're going to do is march. Now, here we go. So we're going to march going forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. Now, if you can do a slow hand roll as well. Slow hand roll. Kind of dancing underwater. Can you dance underwater? I think you probably can. What do they call it? Um, synchronized swimming, maybe. There we go. Excellent stuff. Okay. So we're going to swim out to the side and the side. Well done. Clearing the way, clearing that sand out the way, seaweed out the way, anything out the way. Just swimming. Nice. Give yourself shape. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing bubble. Breathing in. And breathing out. Excellent. Okay. So it rises to the surface. And you know when you're on the surface, you can do a kind of a swim on the surface. Kind of a little doggy paddle almost. On the surface. Kicking those legs. Can we kick those legs? Kick the legs, just slightly kick the legs. Out to the side, good. Give yourself a shake. Brilliant. Okay, okay, up we go. And down. Imagine you're swimming up and down. Lovely, good. Nice. Okay then, so we're gonna do a few stretches. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our leg out to the side. We're going to stretch out, or oh, like a stretching, what could it be? Oh, lobster, stretching lobster. Oh, excellent. And the other way. Stretching, stretching octopus. Oh, stretching. Lovely. And we're going to go back. We're going to go up. And wiggle those fingers. And we're going to go down. Oh, stretching down. Lovely. Stretching up. Excellent. And stretching down. Good. Okay then. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a few squats. So I'm just going to mark, get myself ready for these squats. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put a hand across our shoulders. Excellent. And stop still for the minute, okay? So we've got our legs about shoulder width apart. And what we're going to do is we're going to bend those knees. Try and, try and keep the, the back bend straight if you can. And we're going up and down. So this is good for your quads. Good for the, the muscles in the back of your legs. Excellent. Good. We're going to just do a couple of these. Lovely. Well done. And the last one. Nice. Okay. Back to marching. Well done. Doing well. Under the sea. Nice. Excellent. Good. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go to the side. So we're kind of putting the hands down the side of our legs. Once you get to the knee or just above the knee, that's fine. And then we're going to go up again. Go to the other side. Well done. Okay, well done. Okay, so we're going to put our hands high. Just going to do a little... Oh, squiggle. It's a whirlpool. Coming down. Nice. High. Coming down. Good. Well done. Change. The rotation. Going up. Excellent. And going down. Going up. Whoop. And going down. Okay. 
shaking out and just give ourselves a kind of a hug. Check them all in one piece. Yep, no shark attacks yet. It's okay. Good. Doing well, guys. I'm liking this. Okay, shoulders back. Up. The back and down. Up. Back and down. Up. The back and down. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go out to the side. Out to the side. Out to the side. Out to the side. Okay. Just check in what's going on around. Make sure you're moving those hips. Kind of moving your body from side to side. It's good for your body to move, not just stay in one position. So we can get some movement in the hips there, movement in the body. Lovely, good, nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna touch the alternate leg. So putting one hand up, one knee up, and we're gonna touch it with the other hand. So there we go, kind of crossing the body, touching that knee. If you can't do this one, it's absolutely fine. Just marching is fine if you can't do this one. Okay, back to marching. Well done. Doing well, guys. I'm liking this. Liking this one. Okay, hands behind the head. Okay. Eight windscreen wipers. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, yeah, okay. Our hands in front of the arm. So you've got one hand in front and one hand over. Lovely. The side, doing the same. Brilliant. Well done, good, okay. Hand up at the back and pull down on the elbow. Should feel a nice stretch down there. Fantastic, good. And the other side, hand up and stretch. Should feel a stretch down there. Lovely. Ooh. Nice. Okay, just hands out and we're just rotating something in the water. Lovely. You can use, you can march at the same time if you like and shake out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. The warm up's done. Well done, guys. Fantastic. Oh, we're back. We're back. So did I've you enjoy just... that one, Nick? I did. That was really good. So I've got my water. Yeah. I'm feel energised. Do you know why? Because I got oh, my yeah. Santa hat on today. It's giving me extra <laughs> energy. Extra energy. It's actually the last time I wore it. Well. It seemed to be bobbing around a lot more. It's gone a bit. Um, Hard now, so that's uh, that's not a bad thing actually. No. So there you go. Look, it, it, it doesn't starched. even move at all. It's starched. <laughs> that's right. It's like somebody's ironed it flat. Uh, so I'm having my water. I recommend you have some water as well. Yeah. So, so we got coming up, Mark. So up next we've got the kind of the the main section, the dance section, mm. and then after that we have our VR challenge. With this, oh, we have the game first. Sorry, and we it's have a the mathematics game. game. Yes. And then after that we have the VR challenge. So this week we have John Dias. Yes. And we have Helen, a member of here. Apparently, I'm going to have to do the VR challenge. Oh, yeah. no. I'm not looking forward to that. And we do have a special Christmassy guest coming in to do it. Oh, so a very be... santa guest, do you think? Yeah, it could well be. It could be. Could I wonder well who that be. could be. Um, mm. So, there's something I was just about to ask you, Mark. What was I going to ask? Have, have we got any comments? We have. Right. Uh, we've got Alan and the Green Bubble watching right. and commenting on. Okay. Yeah. Good. So working in there. Well, I am ready to do the main exercises. I don't know if you're ready. I'm really raring to go. Looking forward to it. It's nice to have you all here. Are you ready? Yeah, you ready? I'm ready. I'll see you in a little bit. I think okay. it's about 30 minutes, this one. So Okie dokie. Oh. Okay. Oh, so <laughs> it's getting crowded in here. It's getting crowded in here. We've got the sharks. We've got the seahorses. We've got the octopuses. It's fantastic. Okay, so we're just going to start off with waving our hands across. So we're on the surface, we're on the surface of the water, and we're just waving our hands, and we can kick our feet as well. Excellent. Just kick your feet out if you can. If you can't kick, doesn't matter. Just you can just do steps, or if you just want to do the hands, that is also okay. Well done. Well done. 
Excellent stuff. Okay, I see there's a shark there, so we'll start off with the shark. So the first thing is, we're gonna get our fin ready. So we've got our nice flat fin, and we're just gonna go across, as if you're pushing forwards with your hands. Got a fin there going forwards, lovely. It's like the fins streaming through the water towards me on the surface of the sea. Excellent, well done. Now, what else have big sharks got? Wow, they've got big, sharp teeth and big mouths. So we're gonna do a little bit of marching and then we're gonna do the shark attack. The shark attack, not a real little shark attack. Don't worry about it. Okay, so you ready for the shark attack? Okay, so we're gonna go in with the sharks. In with the sharks. So, hands up and at the bottom and we're clapping in the middle. I'm marching as well, because if you use your legs and your hands, you're using double the amount of energy. Okay, we're going out from the side as well. Out from the side, good. Sharks on its side, snapping at your heels. Snapping at heels, what are you doing? Well, I'd be getting out of the way. That's what I'd be getting out of the way of this shark. So, we're going to go into the next move, which is doing some crawl, because this is Definitely the fastest stroke to get away. Definitely the fastest stroke. So we're kind of bringing our arms round, over the top. Excellent stuff. Okay, give yourself a shake. Breathing in and breathing out. You're doing excellently well, guys. Fantastically well, by the way. Brilliant stuff. We are way into the middle of the exercises now. Okay, so we're gonna go left and right, and we're gonna do the crab got away from that shark. Ooh, brilliant. Under the water we go, hiding in the reeds, hiding in the seaweed, hiding in the all the, the different things. That, what else do you get down there? All the different things that you get down at the bottom of the sea, the rocks. Yeah. And we just do the crab. Keep going, moving from side to side, watching where we're going. Excellent. I'm doing the pincers as well. You don't need to do the pincers if you don't want to do the pincers. Excellent, well done. Okay, just back into walking along. Good, so forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards, nice. And we're just gonna move our hands out. And it's kind of like you're doing a slow dance. Slow dance, circling those hands round. Forwards and back, fantastic. Like it, okay. Okay, what do I see down in the depths? What do I see down in the depths? Doing well, guys. I see the octopus, the octopus. He's doing some chuckling at this rate, but this one's got eight legs. So ready? Two, because I've got two hands. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, two, four, six, eight. Tentacles, two, four, six, Eight and two, four, six, eight. Good, okay, so the, the uh, octopus is very maneuverable. He can also go up. So we're gonna go out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Let's get that right first. These are his bottom legs. Two, four, six, and eight, okay. We're gonna go four, eight, four legs, and with the four legs, eight, four, eight, well done, four, eight, good, four, eight, four, eight, so eight legs, four, eight, four, Eight, well done, okay. Just gonna breathe in. Breathing up all that oxygen. Breathing out. Breathing in. Through the nose. Out through the mouth, okay, well done. Side to side, crabbies. Lovely. Okay, pincers. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna be climbing over 
the rocks. Excellent stuff. Okay, so that's knee up, one knee up, and then the other knee up. Imagine you're uh, a lobster climbing over those boulders. Excellent, good. Okay, right, waving. Waving with the sea, waving with the sea. It's kind of even, the sea's got a current. And you can feel it moving. Okay, and what is the down there? It's jellyfishes. So we'll just go jellyfishes. Oi. Wiggle those fingers side to side. Just moving with the tide. Those jellyfishes. Well done. Nice. Okay, well done. Up we go and down. Swimming. Oh. Lovely. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cross our hands across our uh, shoulders and we're going to go down. We're going to do some kind of standing sit up. So we're going to go down and up and down and up. Swaying with the tide. Kind of keep a nice straight back and you're kind of using those hinge hips going forwards and backwards, well done. Kind of bending down, make sure you've got a nice balance. Got um, your legs, shoulder width apart. Nice stance there, it's nice and strong so you're not gonna fall over, good. Okay, well done. Back to marching, well done, well done. Okay, so we haven't done any fish yet, no fish at all. Okay, so best do some fishies. So, we're gonna do some fishies. Now this is actually fish in sign language. So if you want your fish and chips, this one's your fish, isn't it? So going across, wiggling that hand, looks like a fish. Got like a, a little fin at the top there, which is your thumb. Excellent. So we're just going to go across. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to go up and down. Back to octopuses. So four, eight, four, eight. Four, eight, four, eight. Good, well done. Okay then, move those shoulders back. Always good to move those shoulders back. Rolling back, well done. Nice. Lovely, well done. Okay, snapping turtle. Marching on the spot. Good stuff. Lovely, well done. Okay, swapping. Good, well done. Give it some shit. Okay then, so we're gonna do some seahorses. So up we go, across. One, two, three. Good, stay static, stay still. One. Two, three, good. When you're up there, stay still. One, two, three. You do it excellently well, by the way. Lovely to see you, Alan, if you're there. Nice to see you, Anthony. Nice to see you, whoever's there. It's good to have you on board. It's good to do your exercises today. I'm going to feel brilliant after this. You will do as well. You should do. Excellent. Okay, then. So just do some doggy paddle. Doggy paddle. This is what I used to do in the swim class. When I was a little boy, I can't do any strokes, so I'll just do doggy paddle, that'll do. Excellent. Nice. Okay, well done. Okay, wait. Good. Okay, we're going to do elbows. So, well, we're elbowing it out of the way. What have we got? Some fish. We're going to elbow the fish out of the way. So, you know, you've got all the angel fish. They'll get out of the way super quick. When I went snorkeling, they moved out of the way for me because I was bigger than them. All right, and we've got a very big creature, the biggest creature in the ocean. What do you think that might be? I think it might be the whale, the whale, blue whale. Okay. 
So we're just going to do the blue whale thing. Okay, so ready? Up and down. So splushing its tail on the water surface. Splush. Splush. So we're going up with both hands and down. Up and down. Now, if you can, you can go down to the knees or even a bit further if you can. I'm just going to go down to my shins or you can go down to your feet if you can manage it. Whatever suits you. Good. Nice. Good. Okay, well done. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put one foot forwards. Okay. Pushing forwards. Found something interesting in a rock. What could it be? Underwater treasure. Oh, all those pirates, gold coins, or a chest or something. Nice. Okay, I'm going to swap with the foot. I'm still reaching out to see what there is. What's this treasure? Lovely. Nice. Okay, and I'm going to bag it. Whatever it is, so if it's gold coins from Spain, or if it's gems from some faraway country, we're going to put it in a bag, and we're going to swim away. Okay, ready? So, breaststroke it is. Breaststroke. Nice. Going up. Going up. Nice. Check in that I've got my stuff on. Head's fine. Yeah. Uh, my shoulders and knees are fine. Ah, my water boots are fine. Head, swimsuit, wetsuit is fine. And my flippers are fine. Good. Okay, so we're going to look to the left and right. To the left and right. Well done. Okay, we're going to look up. And we'll look down. Okay, hands up. Oh, stretching out, feeling good. Hope you're feeling good. Keep going, guys. Doing amazingly well, by the way. Amazingly well. Fantastic. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Okay, stretch it out, stretch it out. So interlacing those fingers, stretch it out. Out to the side. Out to the side. Nice. Okay, just gonna stretch out. Oh, stretch it out. So we're kind of uh, legs, shoulder width apart, and then point your toe, and then just stretch out. It's called a lunge. Just gonna stretch up, whoa, and stretch down. Rolling those shoulders, and we're done. Well done. That is under the water. I enjoyed that one. Go. That was good. Yeah. good Hope work. everybody enjoyed it. So up next we have the game. Which, oh, as you said before, is oh. the mathematics. Oh game. no, not maths. Ooh. Maths it is. Can I do it? Can I do it? Is it harder today? He might. Well, you'll find oh, out. Oh no, hope mm. it's not too hard. So I think the music track's yeah. about two minutes. Right. So we'll go over there, I think I'll pause the music and then we'll, we'll have a quick look. Okay. So I'll just pause the music for you. All second. right, oh, so we've got off. six times countdown. three, so it is slightly harder actually. So we've got six, six, and then we've got another six, which would be 12, and then we've got another six which would be 18. So we'd have oh, to go up to this side up here, 18. 18. 18. You'd be right. Because you've got six. It's not six plus three. That would be nine. It's six times three. So it's three lots of six. Yeah. So we've got six and a six and a six, which is 18. So you'd have to use your fingers and your toes if you're coming Yeah, it's, it's tricky. It's, it's easier to do it as a sum, but we can, we can do it with our fingers today. Okay, so okay. I will count you down, and then we'll just go straight into it. Okie dokie. So, there you go, five. Oh, four, let's do some maths. Two, one. Okay. 
Here it is. Ooh, so this one is a plus. This one's a plus. So he's got some times and some plus. So we've got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're adding another six to it. So we go eight, nine, ten, and another three. 11, 12, 13. So we have to point up to the 13, because that's seven plus three. Right, we've got a minus now, so this is different again. So we've got six, so we're gonna put six up on our hands, and we've got to take away three. So we're taking away one, two, three. So we have three left, three left. So it would be this one over here. So we're doing another add now, because that's a plus, not a times, it's a plus. So we have got a four, and we've got another four. So we're gonna, we've got four and we're adding four. So we're gonna count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would be eight. So that's this one here. Oh, so we've got a big one here. We've got 10 times seven. Now, easy way to do this is, when you, anything times 10, you put the naught on the other side, and then you've got, and then you add the seven. So you've got seven and a naught, so that would be 70, 70 over there. Yep. Okay, so this one's a minus, not a times here. So we've got 10 fingers up, and we've got to take away seven. So we'll take away seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how many fingers have we got left? Yes, we've got three. So three is up there. Excellent. Now this is another time. So we had this one before, didn't we? So it's six times how many? Three. So we've got six times six times six. So six times six is 12, and another six is 18. So there we go, up to 18, well done. Seven plus three, so we've got seven, and another three, uh, sorry, seven plus six. So we've got seven, and another three, and then another three would be 13. So there we go, fantastic. Well done, Nick. So I'll come back over. Did so you enjoy I the maths? totaled you up there at yeah. six correct questions within two minutes. Nice, out of well how done. many? Six out of? Well, you got them all right. Oh, so there, there you go. There was, about 20, <laughs> there was about 20 questions I had, oh, I had got, set. Yeah. So I was just seeing how far you could get Yeah, I it. wondered. Yeah, I could have done it quicker, but I thought I'd just you explain it as we go along. As, oh, I don't know. This must be just the way I do no, it. it helps out. Okay, well, that was great. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. I enjoyed the exercises. I enjoyed doing the quiz. Yeah, it's nice having a little bit of maths every now and then. Yeah, it's there, a isn't bit it? different, isn't it? Fantastic. So what have we got next then, Mark? So now we're on to the VR challenge. Oh. So I'd say this week we had John Dias and Helen Tuck. Oh, Helen Tuck. So how, how well right. do you think they did? John Dias and Helen. Well, I think, oh, I don't know, Helen's mm. quite, she's a competitive as well. She is. John Dias, he's competitive. <sighs> So, oh, do you know what? I've got no idea. <laughs> not, well, not a clip. <laughs> so we'll be back in about yeah. 15 minutes. So yeah. I hope you enjoy this. Okay. See you soon. See you soon.
There you go. We're they back. Both did really well, didn't they? They both look like they did excellently well. So right, I'm not so looking forward to doing mine this afternoon. <laughs> anyway, here we so go. We'll do the um, the member leaderboard first. Ooh. So let's see where John was. Da, 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 da. 13th in Fruit Ninja. That's pretty good. It's still a good score. Considering okay. it's the first time he's ever done this kind of thing. Yeah. And, and then it's seventh in seventh. So that's really good. That's, that's way in the, above in half. the top half. And, and then he's getting Saber. better and better. To do fifth. Beat yeah. Sabre fifth. So you could tell he was like getting used to the way things worked and kind of settled down and was really enjoying it by then. Nice. He wants to buy his own set, but... Um, fifth. I said he can use it here for a while now. Look at Mark. He's got all the... He's got the two top scores. Fantastic on Synth yeah, Rider and Beat it. Sabre. It's going to be hard to knock them two off them. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, that was really good, John. Well done. Now, all Helen right, Tuck. Let's, see let's have Helen a look. Two. No way. So, so second in Fruit second Ninja. Second in Fruit Ninja. And she knocked me off my top score. No, since Mark, you're not top on anything now. I'm not, no. Oh, Helen. And then... Beat Sabre, she wasn't... Where was she at Beat Sabre? She third, third, is it? Third. Oh, I third. It's just not got Helen on there, but it oh, must be third. So she's yeah. third, yeah. Well, so okay, so though. that was fantastic. She did brilliantly well. So where do you think you're going to come in then? Um, the seventh, seventh and seventh, <laughs> I would have thought. Anyway, but that, at least well, we I'm realistic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So as we said, next week we have a special Christmasy guest doing the VR challenge. Okay. So well, I'll, yeah, I'll who's that going to be? Mm. Who's it going to be? He's got a white beard and he wears a red outfit. Wow. Well, mm. Or is it Santa? It could be Santa. Could might be, might be. You have, have, have to watch your find out. Got my Santa hat on. I'll, I'll see if I get outdone. Mm. I'm sure I will. Um, so it's lovely to see you all. Remember to have some water um, now, since you've been doing your exercises and that. Have a little break. I would do. You've been watching the video, so you will have had a little break anyway. And have some lunch, and you'll feel great afterwards. Remember to comment us. Tell us what you think of it. It's lovely to have you on board. What could we be doing better? That would be nice to know. Thank you very much to Active Cumbria and Sports England for helping us out and yeah, allowing us to produce this amazing digitally active um, programme of activities. Um, so it's good to see uh, you all today. I um, hope you survive the cold weather. Remember, it's cold out there today, so maybe either wrap up warm or just keep inside today if you, if you don't need to go out. Um, it's probably the, the, the best bet. Yeah. Uh, um, keep inside and then binge watch digitally, digitally active. <laughs> That's right. You can do the exercise. Yeah, you can keep do yourself warm. You can do another one this afternoon. You can watch the previous one and watch it this afternoon. Um, and that'll, that'll, that'll sort you out for this afternoon's exercise. So it's lovely to see you guys. Keep uh, commenting us. Keep telling us what you're thinking. Um, we'll see you next week for the one before Christmas. I'm really looking forward to yeah. it. Maybe um, Christmas themed. Yeah. And if I don't see you next week, happy Christmas. So I'll see you later. All right, bye for see now. See you, Mark. Bye.